Hey guys and welcome to TBMS. In today's video I will be explaining how to create driver reports. So on the top of your screen you have different icons from where you go on to reports and then click on driver reports and this is the kind of display you'll have appear on your screen where you have the statement of all the drivers paid and non-paid recorded into the listing below. There are different icons like the statement date when it's been recorded you have the from and to dates, the driver's name, the total, paid, balance and unpaid. On the very right of your screen you also have the option to flag a record. Next to this you have this little dollar sign which can be used to view payments made to this invoice. Then you have this little case which gives you the option to add a payment. And then you have this little pen which is used to change the invoice status from unpaid to paid. And lastly, once all done and you want to delete a record, all you have to do is simply click on this little dustbin and it would automatically remove the record from this page. Now let's move on to creating a report. For this, we have to click on this create a new report. And this is the kind of page you'll have onto your display screen. Now, the first thing we have to do from here is to select the taxi base name. And I'm just going to go for this one. After that you have to select the driver whose report you want, so just selecting one and then selecting the date for which we want the report from for that particular driver. So I'm going to go for 15th of September till the 30th. And then you can also sort the report according to the ascending or descending order of the date. So I'm just going to leave it as ascending. Below all this you have different fields which you can enable or disable by ticking or unselecting. On the top right of your screen you have some options which you can also select to appear in your reports. Like we can include parking in percentage calculation, we can include VAT in percentage calculation, we can show company logo in the print which is one thing which I want to appear in my report so I've already selected this. Then we have the option to deduct booking fees after commission. We have a link to set addition or deduction and let's just click on this and see what we get. Okay, in this you can also save different values for addition and deduction before and after calculation. But as of now, let's just close this and get back to creating the report. And lastly, you have the option to record driver statement into the listing which we had gone through earlier on our first display screen. So now let's just produce and see what we get. So we have to click on produce report and this would be the final look of your report, which is in an editable form, which means you can directly make changes from this page into sections and they would automatically be updated into the system. Say for instance, you want to change the fare or the extra or the time from here, all you have to do is change it and it would automatically be highlighted in red color that means the change has been updated and it would appear with this number into your system and into the report now below all this you have four different columns saying cash account card and check in these columns we have different options like fair extra rating and total which have all been given specific letters used as formula symbols into the calculations below and then at the end you have the final result of the earnings for the driver and the company now after all this all you have to do is click on print pdf on the top and save this onto your desktop you can also have a hard copy by clicking on print option and print this onto a page if you do not want to print you can also send this via email to your driver by clicking on send email and lastly, one beneficial option which we have in this system is export to Excel. You can export anything, any information onto Excel and then you can make all the changes that you want onto that sheet. So this is all very simple and efficient. I may not have gone into detail, but if you guys have any queries or any questions, you can always email it to me and my team and we'll be happy to answer. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.